Here, f of x is given as x squared, and g of x is given as square root of x minus 5. So we want to find the composition g of f. Whatever letter is written first, that's the first function that we write down, then we're going to take x out and just leave an open set of parentheses. This way it's allowing us to see that we are replacing x with something. And what we're replacing it with is whatever function is on the inside in this notation or whatever function comes second in this notation. So inside the parentheses we're plugging in f of x which happens to be x squared. And when we simplify, here we can just remove the parentheses because there's nothing we can do in this particular problem. So this is the final answer that we have for the composition of g of f of x. When we're doing the domain of composition, we have to pay attention to the domain of what we plugged in. So that would be the domain of x squared and the domain of our result, which would be square root of x squared minus 5. So we've substituted in f of x. And x squared is a polynomial, and the domain for all polynomials is negative infinity to positive infinity. We can use any x value that we want, and it's not going to be a problem. For our composition, though, we have a square root. And whenever we have even roots, we have to make sure that we never end up with negative numbers under that radical sign. Because those are imaginary. You can't actually see that on the graph. And our domain represents all of our possible x values, our real x values. So whenever we have radicals and we want to find the domain, we take whatever is under the radical sign, set that greater than or equal to zero because we only want positive results and we're going to do the sign test. So we did the sign test in section 1.6. So with x squared minus 5 is greater than or equal to zero, section 1.6, we first find our intercepts. So to find our intercepts, we just ignore this original symbol because we're trying to find where does this graph physically cross our x-axis. So that's why we use the equal sign there. Opposite of subtracting 5, we add 5 on both sides. Opposite of squaring, we take the square root. And whenever we take an even root, we have to include plus or minus sign. So when we plug this in the calculator, that's about 2.23. So we draw our number line for the sign test, and on that number line we put our x-intercepts of negative square root of 5 and positive square root of 5. Then we pick a value in each of these regions to test. So we need to pick a value smaller than negative square root of 5, so smaller than a negative 2.23. We need to pick a value in between negative square root of 5 and positive square root of 5, so we can pick 0. And we need to pick a value larger than square root of 5, so we're going to pick 6. So these test values that we pick, we're plugging it into the original inequality. And here, since we have a greater than or equal than symbol, we're trying to find out where our result's positive, where are they larger or equal to 0. So when we plug in negative 4, a negative 4 squared minus 5 is going to give us a positive 11. We don't care about the number, we just care about the sign, positive. When we plug in 0, 0 squared minus 5 gives us a negative 5, so negative in between. And when we plug in 6, 6 squared will give us 36, 36 minus 5 gives us 31, that section is positive. So here we're looking for where does this graph give us values that's greater than or equal to 0, positive. Our answer is on the left hand side over here and on the right hand side over here. So whenever we're writing out interval notation we always go from left to right. So on this side is negative infinity all up until this value negative square root of 5 and we can be equal to that value so we're going to use brackets there. Union because we have a gap in between positive square root of 5 all the way over to positive infinity and once again, bracket here because we can actually be equal to that value. So writing this answer out, once again, we have negative infinity to negative square root of 5, bracket, union, bracket, positive square root of 5, all up to positive infinity.